Yo, 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 what's going on guys? Welcome back to another crazy Madden video we got for you here today. And in this video, man, it's gonna be a really highly anticipated video. I'm gonna be playing my Madden Bull partner for Team Pov. My first overall pick, Spamming Buttons. If you guys don't know who Spamming Buttons is, uh, he made the Madden Bull through the LCQ site on PS4. Uh, he's an underrated player, he's a trips god. He is basically the man who invented the meta of this rollout PA crosser trips with a delay fade and the halfback base. He probably invented that meta. So if you play someone in, in weekend league running halfback base out of trips, PA counter go out of trips, you could thank Spamming Buttons. I'm gonna leave his links down below. Go show him some love. He's been on his grind. He's been popping everyone. He's definitely probably the best out at this moment of time. And we'll be playing him in the FNF of round four. Uh, winner of this game will be going to the finals with a chance to win $1,000. So teammate versus teammate, man, this is gonna be pretty crazy. Let's get into the gameplay. Before that, if you did enjoy, if you do enjoy all my pieces of content, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, man. Once more, go check out my man's links down below. Great guy, show him some love, he's on his grind. I've been there, I've done that. Let's help him out one time. So here we go, boys. We're gonna start off the game with a nice little halfback base ourselves. Uh, running base versus the base god and look at his top right gamer tag boys that's how you know this man is about action and running base 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 his gamer tag is literally trips base and boys count the over under how many times he's gonna run base in this game i'm gonna set it around like probably eight or maybe ten times um we'll see how many times he actually does run it so right here boys we're gonna have to play really strategic on offense um spamming has played so much bunch over the year uh, and uh, right here, we're gonna mix it up a little bit. Move Moss, my playmaker, to the slot. Something you guys don't ever see too much this year. And it's kind of effective on plays like match post, etc., etc. But like I was just saying, Spamming has played so much a bunch this year. He is uh, originally running man-to-man -man coverage, and his man is super souped up. But in this game, you're gonna see quite a bit of zone, man. And he has a nice zone setup. He is a send to God. So everything about Madden in this year that you may not like. Is you know he represents that right here. He gets a crazy acrobat animation, boys, and that honestly was super super. Uh, you know I, I didn't like that right there. I know it was only first down, but I feel like if I get that dot, you know I'm already in field goal range. 100% should have been a dot. No clue how his guy got there. Maybe I should have made it like a crosser or post in the hindsight, but it's all good. Right here we're gonna mix it up, run a little bit of short side bunch, and really there's nothing there. Clear out post bag, everything bag. He had. Uh, Sending two once more with some 25s and some 10s. I've watched so much gameplay of him. I mean, he was my teammate, man. I know how he plays. He knows how I play. We literally played so many games in preparation for Madden Bowl. So, you know, this isn't going to be uh, that easy for me. Uh, honestly, it's going to be tough to stop him, but that's a whole other story that we haven't even got to yet. We're going to have to f worry about scoring first. It's right here. We're going to run Flood. And once more, nothing open. We could take off, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to send the pocket a little bit. Great pocket by myself. And I could have maybe got a couple extra yards, but I ultimately, ultimately do slide down. And guys, I want you know, guys to know, at this time of the moment, I was using someone else's account. I usually have Janikowski. I'm obviously a huge Raiders fan. And not only that, I mean, Janikowski is the best kicker in the game. But in this game, we have Jason Sanders. And guys, guess what happens next? I bet you guys could guess what happens next. We kick the ball with Jason Sanders from 61 out and not even hits the, up, uh, the crossbar. And he's going to get the ball at the 50-yard line, boys. So, I mean, like we had a pretty good start, man. I had a couple dots here and there. Got almost in field goal range. Probably should have gone for it either way, even if I had Janikowski or not. Had to keep that tempo. Had to keep, you know, try to get sevens because spamming is freaking tough right now. So here we go, man. I am in the 4-6 playbook on defense. You know how many times Spamming has played wide this year? And there goes the base counter, number one. I think we set it like at nine, maybe. Just count how many times he runs base. And we're going to call a timeout, man. Something Spamming does that's highly underrated. He no huddles. And I hate when people play like this. I no huddle maybe here and there, maybe once in a while. But man, oh man, does it get on your nerves. Um, you're just, you're gonna have to, you have to play perfect on defense with your adjustments. Because the way Spamming plays, he's just boom, boom, boom. And look at this, boys. We get caught off guard. We get in nickel normal because we weren't able to set up our uh, substitutions fast enough. And man, oh, man, we had to freestyle. 
And, you know, we kind of freestyle kind of nicely. I'm not going to lie. He ends up throwing a delay fade and it goes over his head. But maybe if I had someone fast at the user position, I could have made a play. But, I mean, I literally, that was just me being in a random defense. Uh, I hate when it, Madden does that. I know you guys know what I, I'm talking about. And right here, he's going to run an RPO. And that's on me. I have better, I should have better recognition right there. Um, but ultimately, it's fourth and inches. But why I say I should have better recognition is... There's a tell when there's an RPO, the guy, the receiver's moving closer to the line, uh, closer to the O lineman. When it's like normal, any other play, not an RPO, they're kind of more far out. And right here, man, he subs in Derrick Henry. I had to play better. I had to play smarter. When someone subs in Derrick Henry, it only means one thing: they're running the ball. And he ends up running the ball, but I mean, it doesn't even matter. There's base number two, uh, just a completely easy run. And he'd even need to truck anyone or even be on aggressive. Right here, he still has a Derrick Henry in the game, but he's probably gonna end up passing right here. And we gotta get our adjustment set fast. And I don't know what just happened. My safety randomly sends, I think I accidentally clicked R3, and it sends my safety. Just a terrible, terrible way to start the game. And that was actually just such a new move by myself. And right here, here we go with against this baseline press send two type of look. And there goes the send two coverage. We have our playmaker in the slot, but here we go throwing a dot in my opinion. I don't know how or why I got that kind of bad throw. Um, I don't know, man. Maybe that wasn't a dot, but I felt like that should have been a dot to the sideline. He kind of stopped running and, you know, maybe could have been a pick, but nonetheless, we still have to continue to play. I'll blame that on being on the middle of the field. I say that so much, but, you know, we'll just take that. It's right here. We're going to take a flat up the field. That's something I definitely should have mixed in way, way more is those flats. Um, he likes to have his purples on 10. And due to that, man, you could just spam those flats for days. And that flood flat route, you could pass lead it up. You could pass lead the sidelines. And it will get you 10 plus yards, 5 plus yards guaranteed every time. Right here, once more in zone. And obviously, the zone tell is due to him baseline pressing. He knows he, uh, he's in zone. I know he's in zone. The viewers know that he is in zone. It doesn't matter. He mans up the tight end, and that actually caused him to have a pretty good defense. It kind of threw me off my game, and I ended up throwing the ball away right there. It's right here, boys. We are going to hit this flat route. We actually don't catch it. And honestly, that's not the play, man. Um, you know, I probably would have got three to four yards if I would have caught it, but that's not the flat route we want. The flat route we want is this flood flat route. It's right here. We are going to try to cook one up. And right here, we have... Whoever that is, Andre Johnson catching it, but out of bounds. And two of eight, what a rough start, man. I feel like I haven't been playing that bad to where I'm two of eight. But then again, man, I really haven't been dialing up the best plays. And I'm not going to lie, this send two has me kind of distraught. It's right here. We're going to have to try to cook one up. If we don't, then it's, it might get dark for us, man. It might get dark for us. It's right here. I'm just trying to think of a play. Trying to think of a play. Trying to think of a play. And he actually sends the dogs. We throw a dot. And we get cheated, man. We get cheated. I thought I caught it, man. I'm going to pause. I accidentally paused because I was just looking away. And then I saw that. I'm like, what the heck? And then I just hit pause. But it was nothing like a rage pause or just me like being like, oh, I hate this game. I hate this game. Because that was a 50-50 play. And, you know, it just so happened to win in his favor. But it's all good, man. The game isn't over by any means. And that's on me. I had quite a bit of people open at that scenario. It's right here. He's going to run. A little play action play just easy dump off right there i mean i'm not mad about that that's what one yard no yards actually the main focal point i really want to address is the defense for me man defense in this game was terrible um obviously i started off with a terrible little you know r3 clicking r3 mess up and right there just a corner out dot i actually sent five no pressure and that's the thing about this offense you have to kind of play the run if you don't play the run, then some bad things will happen. It's right here. He's going to, I think, highball it, but he ends up actually getting cheated right there. And, you know, there's an animation in the game. I might make a little tip video on that, a little short video. There's an animation where the ball goes flying over your head. There's a nice little counter that I'll try to make a video on that. It's right here. He's going to hit it to Vernon Davis. Vernon gets to the 10 for him. But we all know what I'm talking about. The, this animation, the ball will go over your head, and you do completely nothing wrong. Uh, there's a counter to it i'll make a little shorts video uh let me know if you want to see that it'll be pretty fire just nothing too much it's right here he is gonna i don't know if that's a base or inside zone we're not gonna count that as a base that was definitely the rpo run but i don't know if the rpo run is a base or not it's right here 
we are in a goal to goal situation and right here rpo again and great defense by ourselves good stuff by rod and once more man we are in a baseline press set and honestly this is a new move because julio is just begging to get the ball and he does get the ball great high ball high pass high point whatever you want to call it to julio jones and julio jones where is he going to man my raiders were in the mix but i think it's cut down to the titans and the patriots sheesh i wonder who he's gonna go to boys let me know in the comments where you want to see him go slash where you think he's gonna go and to my falcons fans it's all good man you'll get through it Kyle pitts the future no not really i mean i'm sorry you lost julio jones that's tough and boys when i tell you this sent two has me distraught we're gonna have to start cooking up some dots and we're freestyling man we're three of ten 54 yards i haven't looked this bad since i think playing jay wall or someone in clubs time uh when the man meta was insane it's right here we're gonna go once more back to this kind of type of concept i really do like this concept i'm running and once more a little send two action and this time i don't know what happened but R1 is completely bagged. And there's a there's something to it, man. I don't know how R1 was open last play like that bad. This play, it wasn't. Maybe, obviously, maybe messed up his own drop. I believe he played the same exact defense twice on over. Right here, we're going to start sending out five because spamming never blitzes. When he does, it's he just never blitzes. And right there, like, look at that mid-zone KO, man. What makes this send two defense insane is he will run 4-6. I see audible down. He has DK Metcalf and Grant Delpit, I want to say. And they both have mid-zone KOs and acrobats. So those 10 flats or 10 purples, whatever you want to look at them. They're literally playing everything. It's right here. I can hit R1. We do hit R1 super late, but we get cheated again. What is going on, Madden Gods? I can't catch a break right now on these crucial third and fourth downs. First drive, whatever. I, I, I missed a field goal. That happens, man. I mean, that was pretty rough, too. Um, I had that mesh post play, pretty rough too. And then second drive, fourth down, can't get my feet in bounds. That play right there, I mean, I could have got that one. That was a super easy one to get. And we're right in here freestyling. I mean, I don't like the play at all. I'm just thinking, what can I throw? And I have R1 kind of open. We wait for the delay fade, and yeah. You don't throw delay fades late, I guess, up to there. I thought that would have been a dot, but it really wasn't. I ended up clipping it to watch it later back, but... There's nothing else I could have done. I thought it would have been a dot. I really did think it was going to be a dot, but since I was in short side bunch, that might be why. And there's a base counter number three of the game. And yeah, man, it's looking rough for your boy. We are on flood alert. Flood alert. We're definitely on flood alert. It's been a minute since we were on flood alert, man. And right here, base again. That's number four. And spamming. I'm surprised. I thought he would go on no huddle, but he actually probably will end up taking this to second quarter. And that's what he done, ends up doing. And right here, man, we are in a shitty defense. We get quick, quick hikes so fast. And that's what's crazy about spamming. I believe he does have conductor on in this game. And here goes a two-minute warning glitch. Spamming in a two-minute warning scenario, that's someone you don't want to play. Honestly, he didn't take advantage right here. He ends up running base number five. We're getting close to that number, boys. Getting very close, only the first half. But here we go with a no huddle. And there it is, the PA counter go. What am I doing on defense? I'm looking like a lost puppy. Actually get a tackle or actually force him go out of bounds. But man, oh man, I'm, I'm very embarrassed on this defensive performance by myself. Trust me, like I'm, I don't know, man. This trip's right here. Even in the rep games, I had some success some days, but some days I didn't. Right there, he actually gets cheated. But this trips, man, is super difficult to stop. Going back on it, I'd probably run over G. Because, I mean, I, I really don't know what I could have done to slow him down. And the crosser, it already takes off too much stress. You always want to watch the crosser. And when you do that, it opens up smaller plays. It's right here. I mean, I get quick hiked a freaking gun. George Kittle, literally the same play probably he just threw. Um, my flats, my, you know, my 25 flats are not doing what they should be doing. My 10 purples are not doing what they should be doing. It's rough out here, man. And that's how good spamming is right now, man. He put me on flood alert. I mean, we could still make something happen. He does get ball at half, though. And we're going to have to get a stop. But nonetheless, I mean, just got to take it play by play. Right here, we're going to go back to the same type of concept we just ran. Felt like I had something there. Reality, there's nothing. We are going to just end up going out of bounds. 
And here we go, boys. Man, oh man, I finally run a corner route play. I probably have the corner route, but we get absolutely lurked. That boy dirty, spamming buttons is gonna be really good next year. Shout out my guy, go get him a follow. Do all that good stuff. Support him, watch him, that's my guy. I know we couldn't get it done in the bowl, but man, oh man, that boy is dirty. Uh, definitely one of the best players right now. He just skunked me, man, 21-0, and he had ball, and he had ball out of half. We do post our L's here, man. You got post the wins, you got post the losses. That's how you become a boss. I'll catch you guys in the next few videos. The next couple videos I want you to look out for. I'm playing no up next in regs. That should be fun like it always is. And we're gonna be playing KMAC after that, man. Another $1,000 regs tournament. And you know, I haven't posted regs in a minute, but hey, we played in a PL the other day and we had some nice success. I'm not gonna say too much on that, but definitely be on the lookout for those videos. Banger videos only, all on the way. Catch you guys in the next episode. If you did enjoy this content, like, share, sub, comment, all that good stuff. Like always, I'll catch you guys next time. Be on the lookout for that short.